And hello, everybody. <laughs> Hola. We're tiny now. Hi. Just a bit. Holy. <laughs> yourself, I'm definitely not tiny. Look at these eyebrows. Look at these fucking eyebrows. <laughs> they are magnificent. <laughs> I love the and the who did your suit? Um, is that like an intimate do or a Taylor do? Taylor do. Is it a Giuseppe original? Uh, Taylor do sounds like Sailor do now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna go with that. Sailor do did this. <laughs> uh, as you can see, uh, we've changed quite a few things since the last time we did a podcast. We are, um, uh, I guess adorable is a good word for how we look now. I mean, that depends. Are we looking at the left half of the room or the right half of the room? <laughs> hey, Fail, when you put us in Whichever the Whichever side room... I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I better be on the, uh, like, can I just be in the middle? Can I be on the table? Just put me on the table. Lay me down on the table. That's how I want to be through this whole thing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> table crew, no! <laughs> the table is mine now. <laughs> uh, so oh yes, we, uh, we are now adorable. We have an actual room that we all get to sit in and uh, look at each other and play footsies. Good times. Stop kicking me in the shins. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was Michael. Hey, hey wrong leg. <laughs> Oh, Keep your hands where I can see him. Uh, no. <laughs> this is the one time where... That was my favorite thing in high school. Whenever people would go into the... the te teachers would go into the freaking uh, student lounge when we're all watching a movie or something, and they'd say, hand check, and all the hands would have to go up. <laughs> and uh, they, my friend Cabot didn't know that was the rule in his first year there. And though, so hand check, all the hands go up, and then you just hear Cabot, shit, one sec! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what is this? Christian school. Oh. Okay. Oh, I've only ever experienced that. that is, I, didn't, I didn't know that you... See, I've never had to deal with that before, so I was like, what kind of fucking school did you go to? And Boarding you're going school. to Christian school, which just kind of like adds a lot to your personality <laughs> now. Boarding school. Loved that place. Anywho. <laughs> hi, everyone. Shadow Mercury here, and fucking hell, as we as I already said, it's been too long since we've done this. And uh, if you haven't watched the uh, the PSA, or I guess yeah, that would be a PSA. If you haven't watched the PSA over on the Main Nightmare channel, you and you're confused as to who the fuck we all are, I am joined today by Sonic Ring. Hey, hello, everybody. Gino. Hello, people. Failhammer. Hi. Osakawa. Good evening. And last but not least, Striker. Hello. Representing all the time zones tonight. I think, this is, I think this is the first time that I've actually remembered, I've actually done that right. Oh, uh, that's because all of us actually learned. Because the last, like, eight times we did this, it was god-awful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, introduce yeah. yourself. Everyone at once. <laughs> or just no one at all, just, like, awkward silence. And then Cole's just slowly aiming a sniper rifle towards me. <laughs> Learn your job! <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> well, it's sunk in eventually. Like a ship. Titanic. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, it's been, we have not done a podcast, shit, I think 2016 was the last time we posted one. Don't look at me, I don't know. Yeah, it sounds about right. It, it's a habit, I always, I always look towards the left when I'm doing these, I don't know why that is. <laughs> Probably helps that the microphone's over there, but yeah. <laughs> Why are you staring? Do you like to stare? You should get googly eyes for it, so you can just stare into its eyes while you record. And like, get in Australia, we look to the right instead. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you guys will catch each other's gaze one day, then. Wherever your natural gaze uh, tends to go, that's where the invisible monster is trying to kill you is. Well, it's kind of, um... Wow. Hi, I'm not invisible, though. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Don't sleep tonight. Me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so, I guess let's do a bit of a uh, show and tell, or would this just be tell and tell, because... I, I, just... I brought crayons. 
Anyone who brought something, put it on the table. Uh, it, no, this is my whiskey. I brought it from home. <laughs> you can have your whiskey. I got my room. It depends on how fancy the, the whoever's going to be editing this wants to wants to take it. Which is not really very, to be honest. For, in, for instance, that slam could have been a penguin on the table. <laughs> it better be a penguin now. Now I've said it, now it's canon. It's a penguin. What is a penguin that's drinking whiskey? You can find that. I'm, I am, I am positive. There's plenty of pictures of printies are just like down their luck drinking in that cold alley. <laughs> Why's it gotta be cold? Because he's a penguin? No, because he's a printy. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. My bad. You right, man. I'll step back. You right. Uh, I need to play. I need to start playing this guy at five. I bought it. It's pretty I good. It's 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 pretty good. <laughs> So, oh, explain what we're doing, Michael. I just said we're gonna like just talk about what we've been doing. But well, you said we'll do tell and tell, and then we'll yeah, any further than that. <laughs> I thought that kind of self. Fine. Fine. What People, are we tell and telling about? Let's talk. Let's talk about how Host Akala just sat at his computer for all of 2017, hoping that a call would start. <laughs> just from sun up to sundown, just staring at the Discord. Like, are we gonna do something? <laughs> That sound you can hear is Hosokawa getting run over by the bus. For a thousand <laughs> summers, I will wait for you. <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. How mm -hmm. are you going to wait for to more conventions more often now? Uh, I spent quite a bit of 16, actually. I went to like five different anime conventions, which is a record for me. I'm usually lucky to go to one. What specific ones did you go to? Uh, let's see. I went to the first one. I went to was uh, my normal one, Anime Crossroads in Indianapolis. I went after a two-year hiatus from that. Then I got to experience Asen, freaking big con. <laughs> uh, where's that? And I've never heard of that before. Asen, it's the one of the big ones. It's in Chicago. It's 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 one of the top ten biggest conventions in the U.S. It's from Chicago. Oh yeah, I live in Kentucky. Nice. It's a decent, somewhat decent drive from here. And then I went for one day at OMG Con in Owensboro, Kentucky. That was fun. I got to meet Little Cribo for the first time. Little Cribo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw, I saw the photo. Okay. Uh, that was actually I, many people. Oh, sorry. Okay. I was just saying that was actually from the second con I went to. Uh, because he went to two cons I went to. Believe it or not. And the no one was popular. Yeah. I guess he he just happened to get invited to Kentucky twice within like two months, so I was just like, well, hey, that's, I can live with this. And the con that I met him at was actually the second time was Kentucky Con, which is in Lexington, Kentucky. That's the, that's my home con now. And then before that one was Ecosta Con in Fort Wayne, Indiana, because I want a free ticket, so I went. How much tickets usually go? Well. Most of the conventions I went to, like, if you pay at the door, they're like 45 bucks. No, 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 for the one you want tickets to. Uh, you said how much? I don't know. Yeah. I'm assuming the same. I'm not honestly sure. It was just a normal three-day ticket, so. Uh, but three-day tickets there must be less expensive than the ones over here. Free to take it. I don't know. A lot of the ones I went to, they're no more than $45, and that's paying right at the door, so. Jesus Christ. I, the last convention I went to was $89 at the door for a three-day ticket. Dang. Eh. I think Ace... I'm glad I got my $22 ticket for the early bird special. See, I know for Ace and I had to pay like 65 and that was in advance. So I bet it was more at the door. That one's probably more expensive. Uh, for one of those conventions, I got it for free because I hosted panels. Yeah, if you were saying you were hosting AMV Nightmare panels. Yeah. Solo. <laughs> yeah. Um, did it grab any attention? Uh, the second, the I did this. I've done this panel twice now. I did it at um, Kentucky Con. Uh, it had a few people. I think I had a little bit of interest, but let's face it. I I'm doing it by myself. I need you. I probably need you guys help to fix it. Because the second time I presented, which was at Kentucky Con North, which is a brand new con that started like in 2018. I only had like three people and like only one stay through the whole thing. 
Well, it, it, it does help. Ouch. It does help to have like a lot of presence with you. <laughs> One person running for like a R. What? Like, well, my roommate did help, but oh, thing, and he wasn't really. Well, yeah, but if, imagine if it was, like, more of the people from the studio. I would imagine it would gr draw more of a crowd than sending one person. Yeah. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like sending one person from Team Four Star comparatively to sending the entire crew of Team Four Star. I think if you found out the entire crew of Team Four Star was somewhere, it would draw a lot more attention than just, oh, hey, look, it's uh, Land of a Tour again. Well, mm. and also the one of those consoles like brand new, and it was very small, so I wasn't expecting much from that. Although my other panels got more attention, so... You panel whore. <laughs> I applied for Anime Crossroads early, like earlier this month, but it it didn't get accepted, and my other panels did, but that was the only one that didn't get accepted. So, mm. well, fail. What have you been up to, or what were you up? To? How's life? Uh, uh, th <laughs> uh through last year. Um, actually managed to get a uh, job somewhere uh, as a um, technology support officer in a high school, which was fine until I got called up. So it's like, yeah, the budget doesn't uh, justify keeping a position on next year, so I've basically been searching at the start of this year for something. Ouch. Got, a, got an interview on Wednesday, so that's something. Uh, what's it for? Uh, the same position, but sort of in a more formalized um, context, like, because I, I was kind of on, like, previously it was like, it was basically just like, oh yeah, we need someone, and I was basically just on as a casual basis, and then it became temporary, whereas um, this one I've actually applied for, and it's, like, been properly advertised. Oh, alright, so the, it's like the difference between um, just a gig and a career. Yeah, kind of. Mm. Also, currently trying to um, get this game project out the door as well. Don't really have a solid direction for it. I'm just trying to make something. Oh, well, uh, what's it about? Uh, it's not really about anything yet. I've just basically got a character that you can move around and you can interact with a couple of other things, and I'm just slowly figuring out what I want to add yet? to it. So you don't have any real direction at the moment? Nope. Oh, well, you know. At, le at least, you know, you have something. You're messing around yeah. with, like, the bare bones of it, trying to get to get more ideas from there. Exactly. Yeah, pretty much. And just figuring out, like, how to uh, integrate a bunch of um, stuff I've uh, got into it, like characters and settings and that sort of thing. Yeah, I get well, you. Clearly what you have to do is you have to make National Apartments the video game. Well, let's not get that. <laughs> we haven't even gotten the series off the ground yet. Netflix, we're waiting. Sonic Ring, what, how was your 2017? Uh, on the whole, I guess pretty uneventful. I've been I've uh, been doing more Twitch streams. I'm trying to keep that up, keep it up when my internet lets me. Uh, it's been it's been fun. It's definitely taken away from like me doing YouTube videos more, which I'm trying to get back into, but I planned something uh, this past month, but that may have gotten derailed because one of the people I asked to help me out with some voices is having some emotional issues, and so it's like, okay, that might be on the back burner for a while now. Oh dear. But yeah, I, mean, uh, I need to try and set up another stream soon. Try to do something. Uh, other than that, Usual stuff for the few voice acting jobs I still get. Um, not much in the art wise in terms of commissions. I, I, I suppose we've been trying to work on different characters. I always have trouble drawing. Like the past few days, I've been sketching like Steven Universe characters, and so far the only one I could draw well is Lapis Lazuli. Uh, did, I, did he cut out for anybody else, or was it just me? Uh, I think just you. Okay. Yeah, no, it's too good for me. Yeah. All right, I I missed a little bit of that. Uh, what did you say? You said, I heard Steven Universe. So what would you say? I, I was, I was, I've been sketching up a bunch of the characters, trying to learn like how to do them without looking at a reference. Oh, so are you doing them like in your own style, or uh, kind of like? Um, style, I, or? I kind of like. I, I always look toward the original style. Then I go, I go like, okay, what's natural for me at this point? Like, they're, they're ne I, I don't, I, I'm never good at copying exactly stuff like that. But oh, yeah, I, mean, I usually look at something for a bit, 
try to draw it, and then eventually it leans toward how I would want to draw it. I'd definitely be interested in seeing some of that. I definitely, uh, I like looking at. Uh, yeah, well, like I said, like so far it's only lapis lazuli, and then and then from here I was like, okay, so I guess I should do peridot next because then I can do some weird oh, shit with them. <laughs> that's my favorite space Dorito. Come on, that's the best one. Yeah, she's funny. <laughs> oh, not not much. <laughs> well, here's hoping we're making use of the giant TV above our heads. Fail, throw some shit up there. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, could, I, I forgot. Yeah, I should send you. I forgot. I, I said it. Look through my art and give you something. I'll, I'll, I'll throw in that lapis lazuli sketch. I'll throw that at you. I don't even have to look for it. I can just watch the video after. Yeah, hang on. Why are we hanging out? I forgot to pay. I forgot to put this in the Discord. So that uh, oh most people haven't seen what the room's gonna look like. <laughs> <Beforehand>. <laughs> Roomception going on here. <laughs> Half the people in the room are just like, "Where am I? How did I get here? Who are these people?" I'm still missing from the pictures. I can't see much. <laughs> you think you can't see much? Newsboy cap representing. <laughs> and uh, Striker, what have you been up to? Um. Yeah, life's been just as. Uneventful. Um, wow, you know, uh, uh, miracle. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I was getting to it. Like, <laughs> I mean, you guys have dragged me into League of Legends now. Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't drag you. I just supported your addiction. <laughs> he dragged you here. All I did was make sure you had plenty of heroin. I mean, League of Legends. <laughs> and I'm, I'm already like, hey, better. Uh, hey, uh, Striker, you play League, right? Yeah, switch to the American servers and play with us. Okay. No, <laughs> uh, no, you did actually get me to sign up on it. I hadn't really played it beforehand. But it's, a, it's a lot of fun doing that. Learning it. And that'd be nice. It'd be nice to actually been playing an online game with actual people I can talk to. As compared to playing an online game with actual people, but with robots. <laughs> I mean, like, so many, like, um, big online games like um, Smite or Overwatch, I start them with people saying, oh, we're going to play this often, and then, like, after a few weeks, they never see them again. Yo, you don't understand, Trigger. I can't give up League of Legends. I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> I've been over here since I played Smite myself. Yeah, no, we were doing, uh, we, we had the Destiny going on for a while, and then Dest and all of us just kind of went with Destiny 2 as, like... Ah, oh, so much wasted yeah. potential. <laughs> yeah, what a disappointment. Yeah, I haven't really heard much yeah. about Destiny 2 recently. Yeah. Not a whole lot going on there. That's unfortunate. At this point, I'm just waiting for the next DLC to come out so I can get it, play it, and then like, okay, now we wait for uh, the, then we wait for the next uh, big expansion to come out. I'm not even sure if I'll go with that. Three weeks later. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so underwhelming. Unfortunately. I've been playing the good game. I've been yeah. playing Monster Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> really I should. Yeah, that... I was about to say, actually, you just with that moving on to Cole for Sonic Ring. Sonic Ring already went. What you could... Cole's, just, oh, yeah. Cole's just fine. I've, I've used my name more often now than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Cole already went, though. <laughs> I mean, Cole, go again, because everyone loves your voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that just, yeah, does I'll... that just leave me and Gino, then? Uh, yeah, I believe that would leave us. Alright, Gino, after you. And I think not. <laughs> <laughs> nope, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh, well, I guess... Yeah, 20, 2017 was fairly... It was productive yet unproductive, because I didn't get really anything done for AMV Nightmare. I got, I think, three or four skits made. Pretty sure that's, like, the same with everybody. Yeah, right? that's pretty much how I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody did, like, yep. anything. Yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. I switched jobs from security to pest control, and then I quit that. It was fun, but... Eh. 
And yeah, I guess well, virtually all my extra time is going into either League, Destiny, or... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to skip the best part. Come on, tell them about how you're a housemaid now. <laughs> <laughs> tell them about how you're Adam's bitch. Come on. Admit it. That's not my 2017, though. That's my 2018. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. You have to admit what you're doing right now, though. <laughs> you tell them what's happening. Don't you lie to these people. Okay, for the past few months, or since uh, January, I've been staying uh, with Adam and Eve. And uh, in exchange for, you know, them uh, clothing me, feeding me, letting me use their shower. They literally and, uh, have to clothe them. And, 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 and occasionally scratching me behind the ears. Um, <laughs> I, am, uh, I, I am their housemaid. I am keeping their house clean. I can't wait to let you know that there are French made outfits on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> that was about dude, to be my next question. Dude, I would dude, I will I would rock a made outfit. <laughs> no, you would wear one. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking do it, I don't give a shit. I'm aware, that's why I want it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but uh and yeah, the biggest thing that uh well, I guess not just me. Also, Gino and Stryker have been giving a lot of uh, work on this. We've we've been teasing this for a while, so I mean, I'm just figured, fuck it, we'll just talk about it now because we're close to uh, we're close to posting it. Uh, we've started a uh, a bridge channel, which we've named Unofficial Authority Abridged Entertainment. That's that's the name, right? Yep. Good. Well, you named it. <laughs> I mean, actually, he didn't. I did, but that I had a good idea for UA. And we're currently working on uh, My Hero of Brigidemia, episode one. E. And two. And three. <laughs> Four is in the writing. <laughs> the three's in the writing. Four and the the Three has the been written poorly. Four is in the writing. <laughs> no, four, three is only a, like a quarter written, if even that. Four, we have we have an idea. Like we know what we're gonna do with four. And don't worry, we figured out what we're doing for the season finale for season two. We, yeah, we already. It's like we have yeah. we have everything planned out. How many episodes have we posted? None. Sounds like our nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> planning but, but planning takes so much less work than actually doing it. Yeah, true. Yeah. That no. Is, that is true. <laughs> I mean, look at Stephen King. That's a pretty good example of that, right? <laughs> Uh, but no, that, that's been a long. Yeah. This this has been a long process series. I had I wrote the first draft of the first episode back in February 2017. We all recorded our parts for it. It was awesome. And then uh, a few things happened, and we stopped, and we said, "Is this really the best that we can put out?" Because we're just we're trying to rush to meet the deadline of season two's uh, premiere. So we looked back on the script, and was like, "Can we do better?" Yeah, we can do better. So then. We rewrote mm -hmm. it, and I think we finally got our recordings done, what was that, in October, November? Yep, yep. we definitely got it done in a day. <laughs> <laughs> Over the course of many weeks, and now we're in the, we're in the editing stages. Stryker is easily putting in the most effort out of all of us with that. And by uh, out of all think? of us, you mean out of our two editors. And out of our two editors, you mean him and you. Yeah. <laughs> don't try to pin this on me. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's like putting a cat on a keyboard. <laughs> You're there because it's made of warm. I don't like warm. Then get the fuck out into the snow. Did you just tell me to get out of my own house? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, get ready to watch fucking Michael walk home to North Carolina. <laughs> You're breaking the illusion. I like how the longer I stay here, the less you call me Shadow. I mean, I don't even call you Shadow when we play League of Legends. Right? Fair enough. <laughs> Canadian man hit by car walking along the interstate. <laughs> American says good for him. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I guess that is our biggest contribution to the, I don't know, the, the umbrella of AMB Nightmare, or is it, <laughs> I don't know if it counts. I mean, we all do have our origins here, really, I guess, but it's really like an individual, like, effort, because it's not, mm. it's not everyone from AMB Nightmare doing this, it's, 
it's a select few True. that kind of like parted off and did it. Like, kind of like how 343 is just people from Bungie that stayed. You know? Kind of like that. Uh, Fair. Yeah, we've yeah, re 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 reach, reaching out, reaching out to quite a few people for this project. To quite a few. More than that. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think the only other person who's from the studio who's helping right now is uh, Sonic Ring. Um. Vo voicing uh, one character in episode one, and I thought we had a uh, we have a mainstay for him later on down well, the line. I thought Alchemy was in there somewhere. Yeah, she's gonna, Alchemy's gonna be voicing uh, Ochiko. Let's see, well, then we to believe Alchemy's part of our studio. That's true. And so, <laughs> well, she's not in episode one. It's the same with Sasha. Like, Sasha's got uh, two parts with well, us. But you said, but you didn't say, like, only contributing to episode one, you're just contributing overall. <laughs> Starring people and me! <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to getting that out on time, because you know it's definitely... us and deadlines. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Great. I mean, it's definitely the harshest edits I've ever, I've had to do, but it's also helping me not only learn more stuff but also really get back into editing again. Striker's gonna be the new Monty Ohm. Watch out, uh, Rich Keith. Oh, <laughs> um, I wish. Don't wish. Do it. Mm -hmm. Uh, rest in peace. <laughs> so where are we? I believe we're on to our next topic. Yes. Yes, <laughs> we are. And we will ignore the news. Yes. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Gino, what were fuck! you doing? <laughs> uh, 2017 was pretty, uh, different for me, actually. Uh, 2017, a lot of different things happened. Uh, I left my job in fast food because it, you know, who wants to say that? Uh, moved on to a better job in a much better environment. Um, as far as like actual uh, retail, actually, believe it or not, it this is like the best job I've ever had. It makes really good pay, and I I got hired originally for seven hours. I have not worked a week where I haven't worked at least twenty hours. Neat. Nice. It's it's decent. It's really good pay. It pays all my bills, so I can't complain. And I went from working for bi-weekly pay, which is basically you know first week you live like a king, second week you just kind of shake your cup and go change. Yep. Change. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I've gotten I've gotten used yeah. to bi-weekly pay. So it's not that big a deal. Thinking I know how to manage money. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, dick. <laughs> <laughs> shots fired. Shots fired. And again, I went through a period where I wasn't getting any money. It almost went, uh, yeah, it went pretty poor. Well, so another story from 2017, but I won't go there. <laughs> and I have other stories from 2017. Ha, huh? so you had your chance. You had your <laughs> chance. This is my time. <laughs> Fucking Kanye do, 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 do. Get the fuck out of here, John <laughs> Cena. Do, 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 do. What is this, 2014? Well, you said it's your time. <laughs> I didn't say my time is now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> boop, 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 boop. He's like the Kool-Aid man, except I don't want to be. <laughs> You're like the one person he can see, though. What if I just wear camo? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but, yeah, besides that, uh, a lot of different changes. Uh... I got a pet. Uh, I got a guinea pig. Uh, Rutabaga. She's adorable. I love her. Uh, been playing a lot of video games. Uh, cracked 150,000 gamer score on Xbox. Yes, that is right. I am the compensator. Uh, <laughs> uh, besides that, uh, Striker got pulled into our league group. And he uh, got trained under us. And oh my god, he went from being like... Well, I don't know what I'm doing. To hey, striker, can you, I'm already on it. <laughs> uh, definitely uh, yeah. living up to the name Legend. Uh, besides that, oh. uh, just been really kind of relaxing, just doing my own thing, living it day by day. Uh, 
Nothing really big to report, obviously. Uh, no self-projects being worked on. Uh, just, just, you know, me and the person. <laughs> hey! This is your cue to take over. <laughs> 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 Alright, so yeah, yeah today uh, let's talk about ourselves. What do we do outside of uh, AMV Nightmare? We already kind of covered quite a bit of this. <laughs> Wait, what do you so mean, like, say, I feel like that's like, what we did. You're talking about like our hobbies and stuff like that, or you're talking about like just specifically last year? Well, uh, hobbies. Well, yeah, there's tons of our hobbies we probably haven't mentioned. And like, a couple of us talk about our jobs. That's true. Well, yeah. Definitely. Uh, there's not everybody hasn't talked about like. No, I didn't get around to that. I only mentioned, I only talked about conventions, honestly. Yeah, exa- exactly. There's there's a lot we can still talk about as far as like you know us being real people, like we're a little bit relatable, not like oh hey look they're on YouTube they must be famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm looking at you all, one thousand people. <laughs> then there's just that one person just like staring at the screen. Oh, wait, they're real people? <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> we're actually just. We're actually just demigods instead of a PC. You see, you joke about that, but I still get plenty of people who refer to me as my as my named character instead of who I, instead of actually me. Fucking all I ever get on Twitter, hey, hey Vlad, why are you not still doing stuff for Aphmau? Vlad, why isn't Vlad in the show, Vlad? <laughs> I don't write the goddamn show. <laughs> I voice in it. <laughs> we had dis- disillusioning so many people. I try to do that every time I, th- I do a stream. I try to ingrain that in their fucking heads. I treat I treat my followers like shit be- until the- until they learn. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you won't message me back, you son of a bitch? <laughs> that or that or if they're uh, I'm gonna uh, name drop uh, name drop two of them because they're awesome: Neo Vega and JBN Twenty Nine. Because those fuckers make it so I don't have to get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's right. Keep giving him all of your money. He needs it to eat. Uh, wasn't Neo Vega the one who started the tip war during your uh, Dark Souls 2 stream? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I thought that was Dark Souls 1. It was, uh, yeah, I wonder, was that it was 1. I think it's 1, be- yeah, because it was during the orange scene in Smoe fight. Yeah, it was, uh, it was like the best opportunity for it to happen right there. Yeah, <laughs> they were literally. And um, in you slot. might be thinking in Dark Souls Two, Neo, uh, Neo Vega just set, just dropped like the nuke and dropped like a three hundred dollar tip. That's what happened in oh, Dark yeah, Souls Two. Yeah, so hmm. uh, I, I st- I'm I'm still sad because uh, you're oh you're busy going on for so long. I want to get my Switch. I want to get my Switch, and I kept on like trying to like have a little bit of money off to the side. I kept asking, so how close are you to your Switch? Because I just wanted to come onto a stream one day and be like, so Sonic Ring, how close are you to the Switch? Oh, uh, like 50 bucks. And just be like, beg me. Beg for it. <laughs> how bad do you want this? <laughs> Say my name. <laughs> well, I, if, if, we, if we go by the clip from before, <laughs> I, I don't beg you. I hit you over and over in the face and throw a giant purple ball of energy at you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can't you just for once beg for it, though? Come on, he needs a win. No. <laughs> That's right. Your fifty dollars will never be enough for him to beg for it. How does that make you feel? Oh, no, it's, no. It might, if it's gonna be begging, it, it's not even gonna be begging. It's gonna be that, uh, that that uh, the, the littlest gross sister from the Proud Family cartoon, and constantly just having her hand out, going, "Give me the fucking money." Never speaking, <laughs> just constantly the hands out. Put the money in my hand. <laughs> fucking love that little girl. Fucking love that girl. <laughs> I never understood why they were blue. Eh. I mean, I have no idea. But there, there has to be some kind of skin condition, right? Like... Eh, I was I was talking about the cartoon. Yeah. No, I, no, I, I, I just don't, I just don't understand like. What's blue supposed to be? Are they sad? Are they mad? They don't. I don't know what they are. Yeah. No. When yeah. I when I first got to uh, Adam's place, I told him that plan. He just gave me this look. He's like, "You are an evil fucker. So are you gonna help me with it? Of course." <laughs> and then we never did. Yeah, I got. And then I told. Um, I finally got my YouTube money. 
<laughs> yeah, and then the day you told me you got your Switch, I went downstairs like, so uh, we can't make uh, we can't make Sonic Rank beg for it. He got he got his Switch already, and he just looks and he's like, well, that was more of what you wanted. I just thought it'd be funny to watch. Like, you know what I would have done if you tried to do that? I would have gone my PayPal and sent you fifty bucks and said, "Fuck you." <laughs> That's how committed I would be to it. Yeah. I would do that. I would wow. say, "Fuck you." Michael, you should have done it. You got 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one that's thinking I need to go on your shoes more often to make you beg for things? She's giving out money. Fuck. <laughs> and that was how I finally got paid. <laughs> oh, man. You're so proud. Oh, yes. My bank account is... Oh, you showed me. <laughs> <laughs> So you're offloading all all the uh, uh, fucking counterfeit dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> How do you download a counterfeit bill? What is this? <laughs> going going back He'd to find Canada. A way. Excuse me, can you see your iPad for a moment? Oh, okay. He's got counterfeit money. Get him. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he, has counter- he has a counterfeit Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got one phone call, just call Cole. Cole, you got me arrested! <laughs> Good. You say that like it's a bad thing. Enjoy that cavity search! <laughs> Friend of mine's there, have you met Bosco yet? What? Exactly. You won't know who Bosco is until Bosco <laughs> finds you. <laughs> I only know the name Bosco from uh, a Richard Jenny stand-up routine. It's not for me, I think. Okay. I just picked a random name that sounded like it could be like a big dude. You know Bosco? <laughs> so? I have an imaginary friend named Bosco. You know Bosco? <laughs> uh, once again, rest in peace. We keep bringing up dead people. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think we kind of screwed away from the topic as well. <laughs> Just a we haven't even really gotten on the topic. <laughs> no. Uh, I guess just to glaze over the topic, what do I do outside of anime? Uh, I do martial arts, and I recently bought a drum kit, and I'm trying to get back into drumming and teaching myself how to double kick. Fuck, that's hard. <laughs> double, well, double while, kick. while drumming. <laughs> 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 uh, it's it's gonna take a while, but I'm getting there. Mm. Is there bad. like any uh, specific music that you do while playing music? Uh, I try and do like a hard rock or metal. You know the uh, kind of the kind of music I like. like what kind of bands? Like, because uh, there's a lot of different bands for those kind of genres. There's a lot. Like just like the off the top of my head, Disturbed straight out. Woo! Two bands I two bands I got heavy into this year were Ale Storm and uh, Five Finger Death Punch. I'm not the biggest fan of Five Finger Death Punch, although I like their cover of Bad Company. I like. Um, I'm thinking of Nine Inch Nails. Never mind. <laughs> I'm thinking of Hush. No, uh, one of my oh, Hush hurt. My bad. No, when I was doing the pest control, one of when during my training, uh, the one guy I was with, he had uh, he was listening to Ale Storm. I was like, "What is this?" He's like, "It's Ale Storm. It's pirate metal." And I was like, "This is kind of cu- catchy." And all of a sudden, a song came on, literally called "Fucked with an Anchor." <laughs> okay. Ow. Oh, there's Sasha. Oh, Jesus Christ! Where'd you come from? <laughs> you didn't fucking hear the huge thing on Discord. Is she recording? Uh, probably not, because, you know, middle of call, definitely didn't hear anything prior to it. Well, <laughs> here's hoping the Discord recording works. It's not At the same time, though, we gotta learn to lock that door. <laughs> you say that like it would stop door. her. No, it, well, it wouldn't. There is, a way, there is a way to set it to a certain amount of people in the podcast recording, so no one else can join. Which would probably be a good idea yeah, in so the future going on, just so people can't jump into the middle of the recording. True. And, uh, fail, that was you who said it probably wouldn't stop her? Yep. Uh, I say, I would, do you want to be the one to edit just, like, the door getting kicked off its hinges as she walks in? Yeah, see, congratulations. See, this is what you get for saying it wouldn't stop her. Now you have work. 
She just walks in with the door. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, this fell out of the wall. Do, do, do you know what, where it goes? <laughs> your, your high heel is still stuck in it! <laughs> oh, so that's where that went. <laughs> I wonder I was going to grab. That like, really bad circulation in this building. If you could feel a draft after one door is kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess for uh, a quick catch up, Sasha, how was your 2017? No. Alright. Care to give us a little more? Or is that how you're ending it? Sounds like a lot of our 2017s. <laughs> yeah, that's what the general. Funny thing was generally a crappy year for most people. Yeah, mine was just crappy. I wouldn't say insane, but it was definitely craptastic. Anyway. Oh! D didn't we start the D&D uh, &D campaign in 2017? Technically, yes, we did. <laughs> I forgot. Of, yeah, Dark's running a D and D campaign, and I I was the first one dead. I just throw a link up on it. Like we have links to the uh, the episodes on the screen. I'll just throw a link up there if you fail, and uh, that's the D and D campaign we've been working on. It's uh, it's been okay that's so been, far, but you know it's getting there. A lot of fun that. Gino uh, trying to kill himself. Uh, whoa! What? Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew that happened. Yet. Yet. <laughs> Well, think about it. You have Dark as your dungeon master. Something was going to give there. Well, I can imagine <laughs> Dark trying to kill me. I can't imagine anybody walking into Dark's room and just being so upset they killed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I you underestimate his power. <laughs> I'm aware. I I'm love scared. Dark as a DM because I've spoke. I spoke. I speak to him a, a lot of times when he runs a D and D campaigns. And it's like, so how badly off the rails did we go? And he just looks and he's like, okay, I fucking hate you guys. I make plans. I think I know what you're all going to do. I figure out all the conversations that are going to happen. And I figure you guys are going to go left, right, up that way, over to the stairs, or down there. And instead you go, let's jump in the well! Wow. <laughs> 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 Didn't know we were that bad. So the, the one the oh, one that I'm the, the one oh, that, um, that this, I'm watching yeah, the one that I'm watching right? fail just talk first because Michael's just gonna keep stumbling if you don't <laughs> the one that I'm watching um, the DM basically knows exactly what his players are gonna do so he figures out how he can just make it completely fuck them around I think that's what Dark tries to do a lot of times like hey there's a room full of treasure chests how many do you think are mimics <laughs> we attack all the chests well you guys are no fun <laughs> uh, dark, dark. It's uh, this group isn't the one that Dark's complained about. It was uh, previous ones. <laughs> ah. I'll tell you one thing. I saw this thing on Facebook the other day. They had a thing. They had a bunch of posts about dice shaming. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, like the pet shame. Dice one. shaming. Yeah, it's like all these natural ones. Like I made this happen. <laughs> Ah. I made them climb to the top of a mountain, and right before they got to the top, I rolled a one. <laughs> yeah, I think like one all... one I know about that had ninja that made me laugh so much. It's like I couldn't, I couldn't like be sneaky or something like that. And I'm I was the class. only one to fail my stealth roll, and I'm I was the rogue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. I failed my stealth roll, and I'm a ninja. I was like, oh. Pretty funny because ninjas usually have like plus twelve or plus fifteen in their stealth. All right, so does anyone else have hobbies they want to talk about? Uh, I uh, still play Overwatch. That's about all I really do. Although I play a few phone games. Um, although some of those are anime. That's actually something we should really do: is to like, get a entire, to like, get everyone from anyone ever who plays Overwatch into Overwatch and just stream it or something one day. Yeah, it's just I'd love I that. I haven't seen any of you guys on Overwatch in Ohio and I'm usually on a few times a day. Yes. I haven't played in like six months. Yeah, I, mean, I haven't played either. I've been playing the last couple uh, a little bit the past week uh, because I wanted to play around with the new character in the PTR. 
Oh, I'm so you've been messing with Bridget, so or Bridget, or however you pronounce it. Brigitte. Brigitte, yeah. I've been hearing it is, but I've, I, I don't she's know fun. NPR. Oh, really? Well, with a whip, I can let, or she's got a flail. Flail. A flail. Either way, it's, it, she seems kind of sadistic, if you ask me. <laughs> I just like any kind of, like, where it's, like, offensive healing, not just straight up healing. Like, I, like I, I'm, I like, I like it when I'm doing something other than just like, because I like to be, I, I like doing more than one thing instead of just healing. So you're so what you play me, so what you, so what me is you're a Tarek. <laughs> I guess what, like, yeah, like, I, I like to play like Zenny a lot because I like being able to like do damage and do bu do be, do debuffs. Well, I was just say I'd be becoming Me. more of a McCree main, at least for. I know I play that a lot for. No, I, I, I can't aim for shit hey, with McCree. Hey, hey, Hasakawa. I, I still. Hey, Hasakawa. What? It's 12 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> it was funny. I went. Anyway, one anime, um, <laughs> yeah. Strangely enough, I remember seeing an anime convention that someone made a custom clock and all the. Spots around the wheel had something to do with the high noon and the crew. Or. <laughs> I think it, I oh, remember wow. it was like every number it just said it's high noon. Yeah, I think I saw that Boy, one. Would you at, look at the time? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I saw that one at the uh, convention I went to this year. That was actually a fun thing. Uh, the, I went to one convention this year, and, and I got to take my nephew for... It was his first convention ever. Because oh, nice. he's turning... Uh, he turns 12... Or he's turning 12 this year. And uh, the convention is free to 12 and under. Nice. So I figured, it's hey, uh, this, this, this is going to be the one year you get to check it for free. And he's like, I want to check it out. So he came along, and... Oh, yeah. It was so much fun watching him, because he's... He's as big of a nerd as I am. As we get we get to the we got into the vendors hall, and just watching his face just gets just lit up. Just looking around, I was like, "Go on, have a look. Where'd you go?" <laughs> that sounds adorable. That was like me in my first convention, and I was twenty one in my first convention. Oh, well, crap! That wasn't my first convention. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was twenty one for my first convention. I was like, it's been first. Uh, I always refer to Crossroads as my first convention, but I forgot I went to one in Cincinnati before that. When uh, uh, there was one day, I went for like one day, and they had the the voice of uh, Haruhi Suzumiya there. I I love that. I actually got to have dinner with her at my first uh, convention. Really? Oh, yeah, my, wow. my first convention, we uh, the convention used to have what we were called, or they they still have them. But they're, they used to be up better, the X Pass. Because <clears throat> the X Pass was, uh, guarantees you to be at the front of the line for autographs, meet and greets, and all that. And it also gave you a, uh, uh, you got to have supper with all the guests on Saturday. Hmm. Man, that would, been, that would be awesome. <laughs> so I got to have, uh, so I got to have supper with her and a couple of others. It was, it, was, it was a good time. Are we still on hobbies? Uh, yeah, for we the most part. We, we somehow got off the yeah. tangent of anime conventions on a non-anime hobby uh, topic. Right. Well, so. that, well, that's <laughs> well, no, I, I, I'd say going to like conventions in general could be a hobby thing. It, it doesn't. It's okay, because they're anime yeah. conventions. Doesn't mean I don't think they fall under that because you're just going to an event. I, I consider that a hobby. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, like it's something like conventions. There's always something of conventions that people. No matter what kind of hobby you're into, whether it's like watching people in cosplay, whether it's you know cosplaying yourself, whether it's you know going around to the dealer room or playing in the game room or you know meeting up with other people and just kind of like getting to know other people that are you know in your fan base. Yeah, there's always something to do with a uh, convention for everyone, and that's what makes conventions like so magical for everyone. Is that no matter where you are in the wide spectrum of like the weeaboo fan bases, there's always something for you. There was one convention I wanted to go to last weekend. It was a it was a toy and get a toy and game convention or something like that. And they had like a huge skew of guests. Like they actually had Chuck Norris, uh, Doug Jones, um, Matt Mercer who uh, plays McCree in Mobile Watch. I wish I could have went, but uh, I didn't have the money. Plus I had to work out Saturday, so that didn't happen. Anyway. 
Let's see. So, um, who else? Who have we gotten to for, like, uh, other hobbies? Anybody want to talk about their hobbies outside of this? Like, you know, just something you never really mentioned before you think would be interesting. Uh... Let's see, for the most part, I do I try to do a lot of reading. Uh, I try to do um, a fair amount of reading. Uh, nothing, nothing like big stories like that, just stuff I'm interested in. Usually, it usually falls under uh, fan fiction stuff uh, because, again, this is, I, I read what I'm interested in. Oh, so you like uh, I do, I, yeah, yeah, I do try to find like unique ones. Like I do like, like I do like a lot of the ship ones, but I like you like, okay, uh, come up with a weird ship, sell me on it. You did a good job. The story gets a it gets a star. I li- uh, I, I, I like okay, finding I, stuff I can, like that. I, I can I can I can definitely understand that. That's definitely something like having somebody actually be able to convincingly sell their ship. Yeah. Again, no matter how weird it is, that's that's pretty interesting. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, so I like that, uh, and then as I mentioned before, I do a lot of drawing. Um, it's off and on a lot of the times because it always depends. On, like, uh, is the creative like m- flow going or not? Uh, then, gotta have my mojo. Yeah, pretty much. And then other than that, uh, gaming. And then I, I have my gaming, of course. I am currently up to like over three hundred hours into Monster Hunter right now. Damn. <laughs> It's it's I I've been wait I've been waiting for that game for like y- more than I think ten years or something like that. <laughs> God. Fair enough. I've I've got to get back to playing Monster Hunter World. Like the last time I played with you was the last time I played because Adam has just hijacked my PS4. <laughs> I'm on the. Is that your copy of Monster World or his? Mine. Cool. I just, like I bought it. He came home from work and he's like, "Is this what I think it is?" Yeah, you want to play? And he didn't go to bed that night. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, it it, 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 suck, it sucks you in. I'm on the end game grind, trying to get uh, the, some really good decorations so I can really make really good uh, mix sets for different things. Uh, rocking a hunting horn right now. I'm loving it. It's actually more of a drum. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, anybody else I anything? do follow, well, well, it's definitely not an anime hobby, but I do watch a lot of, like, certain sports. Like, right now, March Madness is going on. I've been following up on that all the, this whole time, this whole weekend. Oh, so you're into basketball? No, strangely not. Like, just the March Madness, more or less. I follow, like, college basketball a little bit, but I really follow football more than anything. Oh, so you so you do follow uh, some sports, though? Yeah. See, that's something to talk about. Like, who's your team? Uh, for football, def- uh, since I'm from Indiana, I'm actually a Colts fan. I mean, oh, that's cool. Like, uh, yeah. did you um, were there any like um, did you go? Do you ever like plan to go on any of the games or anything? Uh, uh, at, uh, where I'm at, I'm actually quite a bit away from Indianapolis. Although Cincinnati's somewhat like an hour and a half away from me right now. But um, okay. I've been okay. to. I went to one game. Uh, when was that? It was quite a few years ago. It was um. Whenever, when I was in college, so we went to like the last game of the season. They hurried clinched the playoffs, but it's you know more for pride and everything. But it was still a fun experience. Me and my brother went. He was in the Navy at the time, so he lived in Hawaii. Oh, so he was like uh, like off uh, duty or whatever. Yeah, he was he was home for uh, Christmas. This was like New Year around New Year's Christmas time. We had to, we got the tickets for Christmas, and we went with brother, you know, brother and brother. Because we always like to do one thing. Because he's even bigger in the sport than I. Oh, that's good. It's good that you and your brother have something in common that you guys can get along with. Yeah, because he's definitely not into anime. <laughs> well, you know, it's always good to be able to relate to your family in some way. Though. I know, I know, it's definitely like a hard topic to get in for some people. Def- like, you know, yeah, because having anime, to explain your family doesn't or whatever. Yeah, because having to explain anime to mo- my mom, that's a little different. Although, she was cool. But, I mean, in college, my room at home had enemy wall scrolls on there so although my choice of wall scrolls was different than what I do have right now in my own place which my room has like five wall scrolls all of which have girls on it so <laughs> whereas my room in college had a big I had like a death note one hanging and apparently enough I think I had a K on one <laughs> up there that whole time but behind the curtains Kirk is yelling at people to shut up and we need to wrap up 
definitely running close to the end of this. Apparently that's what she I'm, said. I'm trying to be all nice and polite, like, like here's some typing, just know it's time, and then Cole, shut the fuck up! <laughs> uh, that's why he's here. He knows why he's here. <laughs> yeah. We don't pay him to be nice. We pay him? Shh. <laughs> Where's my paycheck? Shh. Shadow's the host yeah. and Cole's here to smack Shadow into doing his job. <laughs> Cole's I thought the Gina was a time manager, though. <laughs> I'm our time manager. That does not mean that I am the time enforcer. I just tell you what time it is. It, and again, in Paso, it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, we're out of time for today. It's, it's nice to get back together again and have a nice talk. Like I, these are just fun to do. Yep. yep. Yeah. It's been a long time. Mm. We should definitely make sure we um, divide up the time a little more evenly next time and stay a little more on focus. And be a little more for the first organized. time coming back, I think we did pretty good. Yeah. Like again, this yeah. is, it's been well over a year since we recorded one of these. Almost certainly. Oh yeah. Like, I think the last one was recorded in. 26, probably October 2016. Like, Pro- probably, probably somewhere around. Some, right around something right, like right that. Around, right around the time we released the Halloween special. Mm-hmm. But we definitely, mm-hmm. uh, now that we're back on track and we're all, you know, a little more settled in our situation, I think that was the big thing. Is 2017 was a big transition year for at least a big majority of us. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, fair. now that we're back on track, we can really start working together again and... I think the fans are really going to be excited for what we have for 2018. We do have things coming out very shortly. Very, very shortly. We are all working very hard to push forward all the projects we're working on. Like We do have AMV Nightmare is in the works right now. We have the podcasts that are coming back. We're probably going to do some more Cards Against Humanity for you guys. I know some videos from my birthday are going to be released either prior to this or very soon after. And that's also something to really look forward to. There was a lot of fun activities there. Uh, besides that, we have the D&D campaign coming out. It has a lot of us from the AMV Nightmare group in it. There's just so much that we have planned for 2018, and we really hope you all can watch it and enjoy it. I know that we are diverting a lot from where we were eventually, where we were with all the AMVs, and we only had really that on the channel. But we want to make sure that we have a lot more for you guys to enjoy than just that, because it does take a lot of time for us to come up with the ideas and everything. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, besides that, uh, does anybody have any like final regards? Uh, no, I'm good. I don't really have anything. Just let's, keep, to let's, just anyway. let's keep this ball rolling and make 2018 great again. We're we always oh, watching. Awesome. I, oh, so I feel the need to slap you for that. <laughs> <laughs> make 2018 great again. I, did, I didn't even well, think about that. I'd vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even vote, so don't look at me. I couldn't vote. I just, I could. Stairs at All right. <laughs> and with that, we will see you guys next time. Take care and have a good one. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. We know where you live. Bye. Bye. Bye.